Hey everyone, I'm John Sisson and today we're taking a look at the Sony 90mm f2.8 G series lens for the Sony E-mount system. The 90mm is a dedicated macro lens designed for Sony's full frame cameras like the A7 series. It can also be used on crop sensor cameras like the A6000 and the A5100 but they will give you a focal length of 135mm due to the crop factor. At the moment this is Sony's longest fixed focal length lens and to be honest I as well as a lot of other people have been waiting for this for a very long time. So stay tuned as I take you through its build, handling, features, image quality and of course what I personally think of it. The lens has a solid build with high quality plastics and aluminium used in its construction with a black satin finish. It has a ridged focus ring which is great to hold when manual focusing and the barrel type lens hood feels rather cheap as it is made out of plastic. It also accepts 62mm filters. On the side of the lens there is a focus hold button and a couple of switches for different functions. The switch on the top is a focus limiter. Having it on full, the lens will focus from its minimum focus range to infinite. Switching it to the middle will make the lens focus from 50cm to infinite and having it switched to the left will make the lens focus from 50cm to 28cm. The switch underneath simply turns the lens's stabilization on and off. Another handy tool is having the push-pull ring on the focus ring. This basically allows me to switch from autofocus to manual focus easily and quickly without any hassle. Now the lens weighs approximately 602 grams and to be honest if you're using a small camera like the A5000 it's going to be very unbalanced but if you're using it on Sony's A7 series cameras like the A7M2 it's pretty much going to be perfect. While I was using it I didn't mind that the lens was so big and that was mainly because it helps me hold the camera more steady and the focus ring was wide enough to turn the lens. There was just the right amount of resistance when in manual focus, but if you are using the lens in autofocus, don't expect it to be blindingly fast. Focusing is dead silent and does not change in size when focusing. One of the big selling points with this lens is that it has stabilization. This makes it easier to get a shot in focus at slower shutter speeds, especially if you're hand holding it. Another feature is that it is dust and moisture resistant. And this is a recurring feature in very much of Sony's FE lenses to date. The photos that this lens produces are incredibly sharp. Even at its widest aperture, it can capture amazing details. And its out of focus blur is smooth and doesn't distract from the subject that's in focus. Now these shots were straight out of the camera shot in RAW and converted to JPEG. So these shots are exactly what you can expect from the lens. In terms of chromatic aberrations, I didn't notice any major issues and the same goes with vignetting and any sort of distortions. The Sony 90mm f2.8 is a lens well deserved of its G-Series label. It has great build quality, a wealth of features that photographers would find very useful and more importantly, delivers some gorgeous images. Now one of the downsides though is that one of the benefits into buying a mirrorless system is to get a smaller kit. But with this lens, you're actually heading back into DSLR size and weight territory. While this may put a few people off from buying the lens, let alone buying into the system, you surely won't be disappointed with the quality of images that this lens produces. And to be honest, I would highly recommend it, not just for macro photography, but also for street and even portraiture. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you already own one, let me know what you think of it. And remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more Sony lens reviews and tutorials. You can also check out more sample photos and photo updates on my Facebook page and my Instagram just by clicking the links below. Now, until then, happy shooting and thanks for watching.